and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our KF-50 Black Shark and we're looking at using air to ground rockets. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure our armament switch is on. It's this one here. Make sure it's in the up position. Next we're going to turn our, in our comms to ground crew so that we can talk to our ground crew for arming. Armament screen up. So we can have four pylons that we can put rockets on and the rockets we have available are these five different types here or I should say a B-13 launcher with a type of rocket or a B-8 type launcher with these type of rockets. So Star, do you want to go through the list of rockets? Yeah, so first of all we have the S-13s. Uh, they are slightly bigger rockets. They come in packs of only five. They are high explosive fragmentation. They're my personal favorites because they just have a bit more bang for the buck. The S-8s are terrible but their explosion isn't exactly massive. Um, the next one, the S8 KOMs, uh, those are shape charge warheads, so if you have any armored targets, I recommend using those. Generally, those are the best all-rounders, because they still do have a little bit of splash damage if you want to engage infantry or the like. Um, the OFP2s are high explosive fragmentation, so those are your go-to uh, rockets for anything that's absolutely unarmored, infantry, trucks, the like. Um, S8 OMs are um, illumination rockets. Uh, those are actually kind of hard to use because you'll have to fire them quite far mm. before they actually deploy their flares, um, and that makes it quite difficult to aim properly. And the last one, the TSMs are good fun. Those are smoke rockets, or smoke marker rockets. Right, we've got some medium armor over there. If there's any left, there should be. I'm going to use, on my inner pylons, I'm going to do the S13s. And on the outer pylons, I'm going to do the S8 comms. I'm up. Okay, while we wait for that, we're going to look at the keys that we're going to be using today. As well as firing the weapon and selecting the weapons, we also need to be able to use our schwal to lock onto targets. So there's a lot of keys we're going to be using today. First of all, to fire the weapons, weapon release. To select the pylons for usage, just out of uh, general information, we have outward stations, inward stations, and we could have all stations there. To control the schwal, we've we got target lock. Scroll uncage, scroll reset, and we've got scroll slew up, left, down, right, and as ever, we've got the trimmer. Okay, so they're armed up now. We're going to have a quick look at the armor panel before we set off. We've got our master arm here, we've got our burst selector here. If we're on short, then we will fire per press of the weapons release button one rocket per pod selected. Medium will fire a quarter of the rockets in that pod selected and long here will fire half the amount of rockets in that pod. And we've got our ammo counter and our ordnance, our pylon selected here. Nothing is selected at the moment. We'll show that when we get there. So we're going to deploy these rockets in two different ways. One is from kind of long range sniping using our Shkaval sh here to lock targets and to range them. And the other is we'll be firing off the ball site essentially running in close to the target. So we'll try the long range first of all. So I'm going to take off and set myself about a kilometer away from the target. Okay, so I've got my flight director in. I'm closing in on the target. So I'm going to uncage my shkval. I'm going to aim it towards the vehicles in question. Add a little more altitude. Razor f ra laser range finding on. I like one of the vehicles. One. There we go, that is a live vehicle. I have an active laser of 1.7 kilometers, uh, so I've got my armament on there. I need to select my inner pylons, which I'm going to do now. That's my inner pylons selected. I've got 10 of them selected. Short range, short bursts. Uh, the mode, I need to tell the, you know, the chopper how to target for this type of missile, so I need to set this to two in the case of the S-13 rockets that I've got. And now it's going to make compensations and calculations. And you can see here, here is my targeting reticle. I want to aim that towards the target to fire. I've got a range bar here. You can see the ranging bar is past this second tick here, which means we're currently out of range at 1.3 kilometers. So we need to get a little bit closer. And when it's within the two markers, marker one and marker two, then um, we'll be in within range to fire. So as we close in, we'll get within range to fire. And so this is um, compensating for ballistics, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it will otherwise as well, but it will be kind of more of an estimate. This is more accurate, because otherwise it's not entirely sure what the range is that you're firing at. Okay, we are now just about within range, so we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. Boom, we got him, we actually got him. Beautiful. Pretty happy with that. 
And why don't we see if we can lock another guy here for the lols of it. So we're going to get this chap here. Press the target lock. It's made the necessary calculations. 0.7 clicks away in range and... Boomy. Missed that one, but you get the idea. So that's using uh, computer calculation to calculate the trajectory. Now we're going to try just shooting off the bore sight. So to do that, I'm going to turn off the scroll. I'm going to reset the scroll. I'm going to turn back on the pylon. There we go. And we're just going to be using this um, this pipa here. Now this doesn't have any type of computation. It's just uh, dead aimed, basically. So I can just aim wherever I want. And kapow. And I'll have to uh, put my only... Oops, I didn't realise they were alive, but never mind. I gave them a nasty shock. And there we go. Out of ammo. Zero on the ammo counter. Now let's change to the outer pylons. Am I right in saying that the outer pylons, the SH, we could also do the ballistics firing for? Uh, the uh, computer calculation. Uh, yes, you can do it for any any rocket, but you will for those have to uh, select a different setting on the ballistics. That'll be zero, won't it, for them? For the comms it'll be zero, for the smoke rockets, the TSMs, it'll be one. Roger, I'm just going to use these in... What I'm just going to show is salvo no. So now I'm going to go to long burst. And I'm going to come in and just put a long burst of them in there. It didn't look like half of the pod, but it should be. You might, have, ah. might want to hold it down. Roger, yep, yeah, hold it. Press and hold. Haha, <laughs> cool. And that's it. That's it done. Yep, so note you have to press and hold to get the full salvo to work. Right. Cool rockets. Anything you want to add to rockets style? Uh, negative. Hope that helps and see you later.